If you have ever built a website in WordPress using Elementor, you know already how easy it is to drag and drop elements, but also how quickly things can get messy. Now imagine having the same visual freedom, but with cleaner code, faster load times, and more control. That's where Webflow steps in. I will break down the UI, how each handles responsiveness, custom styling, global components, and how much control you really get under the hood. At our agency, we have worked with both platforms. A few years ago, Elementor was our go-to for client projects. But over time, it becomes harder to scale. Plugin conflicts, performance issues, and the editor itself started feeling bloated. When we moved to Webflow, the transition was not just about cleaner output. It was about empowering our design team to go further without touching code and giving clients a faster, more stable experience. First, editor experience. Elementor is a live front-end editor for WordPress. You drag, drop, and see changes in real time. It's intuitive, but the UI can feel cluttered. Too many sidebars, nested elements, and toggles. In Webflow, the editor is more like visual dev environment. You have full control of box models, spacing, typography, positioning. With precision, it's a cleaner workspace that's closer to how real code works. Second, output code quality. Elementor creates extra wrappers, inline styles, and bloated mockup. It works, but if performance and maintainability matter, this becomes a problem. Webflow writes semantic HTML, clean CSS, and gives you a control over classes, global styles, and structure. You don't just design. You design like print and developer would. Third, responsiveness and breakpoints. Elementor gives you basic control, desktop, tablet, and mobile. But tweaking across breakpoints can be frustrating especially if you are working with custom layouts. Webflow gives you more granular control. You can build directly for each breakpoint, reorder elements visually, and see how layouts flow across devices without extra plugins or hacks. Fourth, global styles and reusability. In Elementor, styles is often inline or block level. You can use global colors and fonts, but managing consistency across larger projects gets hard. Webflow treats everything like system. You work with classes just like in CSS. You can reuse styles, symbols, and components. And when you change one, it updates everywhere. It scales better. Fifth, interaction and animation. Elementor includes basic animations, fade-ins, slide-ins, power effects. But anything complex usually needs extra add-ons or code. In Webflow, you get timeline-based interactions out of the box. You can animate on scroll over click page load without a single line of code. Sixth, seamless integration. Elementor releases on WordPress's default push types and needs custom plugins for advanced content. Dynamic pages are possible but limited in flexibility. Webflow CMS is built in and highly flexible. You create custom collections with fields you define. Then design how each dynamic page looks, no plugins, no theme builders, just your own structure. So if you are looking for a visual editor that's fast, reliable, and gives you a clean control over both design and code, Webflow might be the better choice. And if you're looking for help migrating from Elementor to Webflow or building a new site from scratch, feel free to reach out. We have done it plenty of times.